Right, so uh, this is voice attack uh, and it's macro software and like uh, most macro software you can trigger you can make macros and trigger them with keybinds but the thing that makes voice attack really powerful especially for like star citizen is that you can use voice commands to to trigger it as well um but essentially uh i'm using i use voice attack uh, for lots of different macros in star citizen including transferring inventory from right to left for example transfer left Now, occasionally it does drop the item on my character. It's fine, though, because the majority of it is going to the inventory in the left. Stop macro. So, essentially, the way that I made this macro is actually really uh, simple. Um, now, first of all, if you want to make this macro... Um, actually, before we go there, uh, Voice Attack is available on the Voice Attack website, but it's also available on Steam, and there is actually a demo available on Steam, so you can try it out. Um... But the way that this macro works, it's actually really friggin' simple. It's four parts. All right. So if you want to make it from scratch, uh, essentially what you do is you click this button here. And then it will show all of the, the macros that you have. Um, click new command here to create a new command. And it will open this box here. And then... Um, at the top here, you can decide how you want to trigger it. So you can either do it with key presses. Um, you can even do it with presses of your a joystick button uh, or a mouse button. Or uh, by default, it's what you say. All right. So I say transfer left. You can actually set it to listen out for multiple, multiple commands. So for example, if I wanted to put a second voice command in there, just in case you sit, sometimes say variants of things, uh, you put a semicolon at the end, and then I could, for example, add transfer to left or transfer from right to left. Um, and you'll, you'll, you'd need to put in however many variations that you want. Um, but as for the actual macro part, um, it's a simple hold left mouse button down. So for this, you click mouse. And then mouse click and then right here uh, it's a left uh, left button down and then click on OK to create the first option there the second option is a, a mouse move so it'll, it'll actually take control of your mouse and physically move it across the screen um, so for this one you click on mouse again and then you would click on move and then it'll open up uh, this box now, this bit is actually really important. Um, you need to not use this top section here. Uh, because if you use this top section here, it actually scuffs the, the mouse movement. Um, you need to use this bottom section here. So if you click on um, the, the radial for move left, it'll unlock this bottom section. And then tick this box here. This is actually really important where it says move using relative data and the amount of um the amount of distance here is dependent on your monitor so you need to uh to trial and error it essentially um so for me i use an ultra wide monitor so i need to move it left 1200 and the starting point is wherever you leave the cursor, right? So you put the cursor over the thing that you want to move and then it will start the macro from there. So um, just put, to start off, I would just put, um, say, a thousand in here to work out if that's correct. And then, um, like I said, make sure that this box here is ticked. Um, and also make sure that you tick animate movement. This is important as well, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, a timing, I use a timing of 0 0.050 with uh, 30 steps and I turn on ease movement as well just to smooth it out and then click OK. So now uh, we're at a point where the macro is clicked and the macro has moved but we need it to release. So that will release the left uh, mouse button. So again you go to mouse and then click which will open this box. And then it's this radial right here. So release left button and then click OK. 
and then you want your mouse to return back to its starting point where you left it at the beginning of the macro before you started the macro so essentially you are doing the opposite to what you did in this mouse move here so you're moving it right the amount of space that you you moved it right so for example so again to bring uh, this option up here it's mouse move which will bring up this box again uh, make sure that you hit this radial down here and then put the um the appropriate amount of space uh from the first mouse move uh in move right uh now the way that i sometimes you want to move from right to left sometimes you want to move from left to right so I actually make two commands, one going from right to left, one going from left to right, and I use them uh, appropriately. Uh, and then just uh, the same options as last time, make sure you have to have move using relative data turned on, uh, turn on animate movement, timing 0 0.050, steps 30, and turn on ease movement. Um, and then you're good. Before you use the macro, um, uh, you can test it, so, uh, just click OK, uh, click Apply here and done. Um, and what will happen is, let me just quickly change something on mine. Uh, execute only once. So when you first use a macro, it will only do it once. So transfer left, transfer to left. There we go. Um, but what you want it to do is to repeat the macro continuously until you tell it to stop. So, don't make the mistake that I originally made by not having a command to stop all macros. Uh, because otherwise, uh, you'll, be en you'll end up screwing yourself because the macro will be stuck running and there's nothing that you can do about it. So, you will need a macro called a stop macro. Um, it's probably worth... Um, setting up a a key press as well and the reason i i say that uh is because so for example i'm going to use left control delete um when a fast macro is running sometimes it can be difficult for voice attack to uh understand what you're saying just because i think it starts to lag out if you have a slower machine it can lag out the machine sometimes um, whereas if you have a key press there, you can spam the key press until it stops. Um, so again, make sure that you create a command called uh, stop macro, right? This is a separate macro. So again, same thing as before. And you, 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 you from the very beginning, click this button here, click new command. And then uh, it's uh, up here. Just add um, stop macro to the say i would probably add a key press here um so the way that this works here is that when you open this box um you just press the key combination that you want and then just click ok um so for example uh control delete okay and then uh for the macro to stop uh it's uh you go to other voice attack action and then uh, stop all processing, uh, stop processing all commands right there and click OK and that will, that will save it. Um, once you have tested your command, uh, you will, and you, you know it's working correctly, it's, it's, it's dropping from right to the left inventory. Um, you can tell it to repeat, so... Uh, a quick way to open the commands that you've said is right here on the main menu um, or on the main window. It shows you a list of all the commands that you have said. Um, you can actually double click on the recognized commands um, to open them up. So this is my transfer macro command. Um, once you know it's working correctly, come right down to the bottom here in the bottom right uh, and change execute only once to repeat continuously until stopped. Click OK, click Apply, click Done, and then test it again. Transfer from right, transfer to left, and there we go. The macro is running, easy peasy. And it'll just keep spamming and keep moving all your stuff from right to left. 
And to stop macro, I'm going to control delete. Uh-oh. Stop macro. There we go. 